Okay, what we have here is um, we are optically centering a scope. Uh, I've made a fixture that you'll see in a minute here, but right now what we have is we have a piece of paper down here with a cross hatch on it. Um, you're just wanting to get it close. Uh, I'm just I'm just doing this because it's was interesting and thought how would you optically center um, a scope? There's probably something out there, but I haven't looked. Um, I'm sending the scope back to Leopold to have some uh, target turrets put on it, so uh, I'm just, just going to optically center it for them prior to sending it to them. And as you can see, there's a line right there. Um, some of this stuff is going to be out of focus because it's focusing in on the closest thing, which is the uh, reticle in the scope. But you can see the faint second line right here. Now, I have the turret facing up for the elevation. I'm going to rotate it now. So that it is facing down. And line it up. You can, you can see that the, uh, the horizontal line pretty much lines up with the line on the piece of paper. There you can't see another line almost. You know, it's very, very close to being on center with that one. So we'll rotate it back around. And you can see we've got a little bit left there. Do three clicks there. Spin it upside down. Go back around the other way. About three clicks right there. Come back around. And the elevation is pretty much centered right now. So we're going to go ahead and do the windage now. All right, I just moved the piece of paper to line up the uh, crosshair on the piece of paper with the uh, reticle. So let's swing this from one side to the other. And that looks pretty good. It must have been very close to optically centered. As you can see, when you rotate this, the crosshair is very close to the crosshair on the piece of paper. That means it's, it is very very close to being optically centered. Um, other than having some device that I guess would sit inside the objective lens or the uh, eyepiece and have uh, crosshatch marks where you could line it up, uh, I can't see any other way of lining it up. Now I'll show you what the uh, fixture looks like. I had to cobble, cobble some stuff up down here to put the video camera in it. You can't do this by eye because you can't keep your eye on the center of the scope. And um, you'll always be trying to line up the crosshairs to the crosshairs in the reticle, which you have to have a fixed uh, viewpoint. By, ha by using a video camera on this platform right here, looking through the objective, um, you have a fixed view so when you spin it you're actually uh, able to move the crosshairs and line them up with this down here this is just a sticky pad I drew a crosshair on it um, you know it, it's not plumb or anything because uh, when you're spinning this around as long as you're lining up the horizontal with the horizontal line here it's going to be the same you're moving it in, in the same direction so 
uh, it'll line up correctly. But uh, this is just a piece of pine, a couple pieces of hardwood. This is hardwood, uh, oak hardwood. These two pieces are hardwood. Got a wing nut down here so you can adjust it. There's a wing nut at the end down here so you, when you adjust it, you can move this, slide this whole thing back and forth. Um, I will be updating this with something to hold a camera and um, hopefully actually get the camera uh, on, on a pivot mount so you can get it centered in here. Uh, this was my first attempt at this thing. Uh, it was just an idea that came to me. Um, I think I'm going to have one made out of aluminum. Uh, precision machine so uh, when you spin this it is it stays on its own axis so you can line up the camera with the axis of the uh, scope um, <clears throat> that way you don't get that wobble that you saw um, when, when I was spinning the scope but pretty much that's about it I mean it was just a gee whiz project thought it'd be kind of neat to try um, I think I've got it pretty uh, optically centered right now and uh, that's about it uh, I think it was about 30 bucks worth of material from Lowe's and uh, a couple of jam nuts and that's about it. it took about two and a half hours to make it was pretty easy and I don't know you might be able to use it for something else but I was just messing around bored and this is what I uh, ended up with and uh, you know, if you want to discuss any of this stuff or anything, please uh, visit Precision Long Range Hunter. Uh, visit the forums, join the forums, and uh, come on in for a discussion, and uh, we can talk about all sorts of stuff. There's a bunch of good people on there. Uh, we've got Brian Litz, which is uh, Burger's chief ballistician. And uh, he's on the site to answer your questions about uh, burger bullets or, or ballistics of, uh, you know, any anything that you have a... Uh, desire to want to learn so uh, thanks hope this was a help and um, good luck bye